All right, Shelby, let's take a look at some of your turns on uh, Mineshaft. And, uh, boy, you have come a long way. There's some pretty good stuff here. Um, you know, as always, though, uh, some places for improvement. Um, you know, I know you were just starting off in this run, so your speed wasn't high. But clearly, um, we need to, even at slow speeds, learn how to roll up both skis on edge. Uh, creating a platform so we don't have to do this divergence. I mean, it was slow, so I think you felt like, gosh, I got to get this turn done quickly, so I better steer it around. No need to do that, for sure. Um, now you got a little more speed, so it's there, but not as much. And now I'm going to guess it's probably gone. Now it's gone. Um, so come a long way, like I just said. Um, you know, some things, though, a little wider stance probably. At certain parts of the turn, we want to maintain, as we talked about, one of our rules, maintaining a consistent width uh, throughout. And, oh, well, it's, it's back again, that little divergence. So uh, keep that in mind. Really want to try to... Widen the stance will help. Um, you know, right there, if you just really kept the tip of the ski really where it is and twisted the foot to match up and be parallel to the outside, that might be your better uh, width stance. Um, it gets a little narrow in there, but uh, there's a lot of good stuff going on. I mean, there's a good turn. Look at that. That is Pretty nice. Um, could we have a little more of the inside foot up on edge? Maybe it looks like, you know, kind of a hair of an A-frame. Um, so, yes, we could probably do that. Another thing we've talked about a lot is, is the pole plant. Um, your pole plants uh, tend to be almost behind your boot. Um, and why? All right, your hands are great. Your hands are wide, they're in front, but you drop the hand almost right before your pole plant. So now the pole you can't get around, so you just kind of tap it. That pole plant right there, uh, to me, is really, you know, behind your boot. Um, so hands are good position right there. There's no reason to drop the hands right now to pole plant. The hands should be kept up high. Don't drop them. You're in a great position. Again, you know, look at where that pole plant is. Uh, it's behind your boot. Uh, we need to get the pole plant out in front. It helps us uh, stay in the front of the boot. It helps us get, you know, kind of recentered. And you got a pole plant behind you. You're kind of recentering, you know, in neutral to back. And we want we want to be in the front of the boot at the top of the turn. That's a nice looking turn. You roll them both up. Yeah, a little A maybe, but you know, pretty good. Um, arms good position. You just happen to drop them right there, right before your pole plant. You drop them so the pole plant is really just a, a flick of the pole downwards to like kind of bounce, almost bounce off the snow. Um, you know, another thing we got to kind of think about in slalom is, um, you know, I, I like the fact that you're rising up and you're working the ski, but uh, you you really have some, you know, you're pretty tall in between the transition. And slalom, we're not going to have time for that. I mean, we haven't talked about it a lot, but now you're getting to the point where we got to think about um, how, mu how much time do we have to really, you know, kind of stand up uh, basically that tall. You are... You know, you're pretty, you're standing straight up. Um, so modern slalom, it's all retraction in between. We actually kind of, instead of standing up, come in here, we kind of suck up the knees and allow the skis to get to the other side um, in more of a, a down on waiting or retraction. Uh, we just don't have time in slalom. So our head, the level of our head never really changes very much. Your head obviously is down here 
and then rises up as you stand up. Um, so something we got to think about. But uh, yeah, pole plant there again, really behind your boot. So just don't drop the hand. Keep them high uh, throughout. You drop them right now as you right there. Those hands could be higher. There's no reason to drop them. Um, you typically want to widen the hands maybe in between the transition for balance, but we don't drop them. We keep them held high. Nice looking turn though. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's some more parallel shafts of the, shin, of the shins. Uh, rolling both up, matching. That's good stuff. Again, right there. I mean, you could tell you are driving forward. You've got ankle flexion. Flexion. You are in the front of the boot. You got parallel shafts of the shins. That's some good turns. So uh, a lot of progress uh, here. I don't know why. I mean, now you're moving kind of fast, and and why, you know, you all of a sudden had to do that. I thought we lost that when the speeds increase, but uh, hey, we are making some. You made some serious progress, and uh, you come a long way. And uh, great job.